In ecosystems, the waste of one organism is the resource of another. This means that all nutrients are recycled. Industrial human society has until now, when it comes to resources, applied a linear thinking. The problem with linear thinking is that Earth is a closed loop system. Earth has a finite amount of resources, and resources that are not recycled in a closed loop will at some point run out. This is a fact. Imagine a tomato plant. When its fruits are ripened, it will fall to the ground and be degraded, and the nutrients return to the soil. What happens today is this tomato is picked and shipped for miles before consumed. The nutrients eventually, after some advanced human processing, end up in wastewater and are then treated as pollutants in a wastewater treatment plant. The fact is that what we call human waste contains a large amount of nitrogen and phosphorus. These are valuable nutrients, basic building blocks of all living things, and we flush these resources out without thinking about it. But there are alternatives to this flushing and forgetting culture. To understand this, let us first have a closer look at the disadvantages of the existing sanitation system in the industrialized world. First, we treat water to drinking water quality. This is both expensive and energy consuming. Then we send it in an expensive and complicated distribution system. Then we come to the toilet itself. Each and every flush equal approximately 3 to 10 litres of clean water, which is around a third of your household consumption. The sewage system is another complex system of pipes, leading what is now wastewater to a wastewater treatment plant. Not only is the process in this plant extremely costly and energy consuming, much of the wastewater is actually lost from leaking pipes. In most cities, sewage and rainwater goes in the same pipes and wastewater is released untreated during heavy rainfalls because of the pipe's limited capacity. In addition, climate change is contributing to increased rainfalls and, more importantly, more floods. This usually means sewage in the streets or in your basement, and you can imagine the economic, environmental and health-related consequences of this. In developing countries today, 90% of all sewage is released untreated. The sewage system is not a fail-safe system. Most of us have just forgotten about this invisible system that is so essential to our lives. Flush and forget several times a day, which on a global scale means a hundred billion litres of clean water every day. At the other end of the food production and consumption line, we find the production of fertilizer, which is another expensive and energy consuming process. At the same time, there is a lack of phosphorus for fertilizer. The reserves of phosphorus are running out and predictions say that it will peak in 30 to 100 years. This will have grave consequences for food production. From an ecosystem perspective or cyclic thinking perspective, the most reasonable thing to do would be to recycle the nutrients from human waste to use as fertilizer in agriculture. Ecological sanitation or ECOSAN is a sustainable solution to these two major problems, or rather many solutions. ECOSAN is an umbrella term for approaches where sanitation is brought together in a holistic way with regards to resources, energy, cultural settings and economic and technical aspects. ECOSAN has been used by some as a term focusing mainly on urine separation and solutions for rural areas but optimizing existing systems and solutions for urban areas are becoming more and more important. Ecosan is generally about seeing sanitation in an ecosystem perspective, because every situation needs a different solution. What is needed 
is keeping things with different properties apart from the start. Water from your sink or washing machine should not be mixed with what comes out of your toilet. In fact, no water needs to be mixed into your toilet at all. Urine could also be separated from feces in the toilet bowl, since it is in urine that most of the nutrients are, and urine is generally free of bacteria. The main objection from people that are not familiar with ecosan is health risks related to dangerous bacteria, pathogens. There are many bacteria in excreta, but there are many bacteria everywhere, and many of them are good for you. Pathogens in human excreta will be safely degraded if the proper procedure is followed with temperature and time. What the existing water-based system is doing is to spread the pathogens from a small amount of excreta into litres of water. This not only multiplies the health problem, pathogens actually survive longer in water than in soil. Simultaneously, the flush and forget system dilutes the valuable nutrients and makes it more difficult to recycle them. Using human excreta as fertilizer, or humanure as some call it, is not a new concept. It has been done for centuries, and with today's understanding we can ensure that it is safe. We just forgot for a while, and it's about time we remember again. What we consider waste today is a valuable resource which it would make sense to treat and use on a local level. Water is a scarce resource and 1.1 billion people in the world are without access to improved water resources. At the same time, 2.4 billion are without proper sanitation. This calls for an innovation in sanitation and a change in the attitude that water-based centralized systems are more hygienic and civilized. The most civilized thing to do with our knowledge today is to be responsible in this small daily action and contribute to closing the loop of nutrients. To actually give a shit. Ha 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 ha!